Welcome back, everybody. RC here with another product snapshot, the Mpix Photo Books. Now, guys, if you're a photographer, you want to make sure that your images live in places more than just devices, more than just computer screens. Your images are important to you, and getting those images in your hands and sharing them with individuals, I think, is paramount. It's one of those things that becomes your legacy when you're working with that. So to that end, Mpix has got some great options for you to create photo books at all levels. So right now we're taking a look at the Mpix website and we have the economy, soft cover, and premium panoramic books. So the economy one, right? Pretty standard favorite here, hardcover book. You also have a soft cover panoramic book and we have an option here available. Mia McCormick actually set this up with images of hers. So she went out and she did a whole bunch of different configurations, a bunch of layouts. There's her and her husband, bunch of different images. It looks really nice. These are the kinds of things that you want to send to people more than just, hey, I'm going to message you on my phone a picture. When somebody gets a book like this, I think it really speaks volumes to the quality of the work that you do and the timelessness of those memories that you have. Now, on the top end, we have the premium panoramic book and Pete Collins actually used this as a method for him to show off his work. So he went out to Old Car City, did some pictures, and he created a beautiful premium panoramic book with all of his images inside of black and white. And I love the paper, so I give a variety of different options of paper for you to choose from. Now, I didn't necessarily just want to say, well, take a look at this book, take a look at this book. I wanted to show you the actual process from start to finish on how to build this. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and select the books that I wanna work with. I'm gonna go to photo books, and you'll see that those are your options. Let's say that what I wanna do is I wanna create a premium panoramic photo book. Now, I wanna create an eight and a half by 11 premium panoramic book from here, so I'll click on create. You'll see you have a bunch of other options here available to you, so you're not just limited to one. I'm gonna click on create there, and immediately, do you want matte book stock or do you want semi-gloss photographic? So, I tend to like the semi-gloss photographic option, so I'm gonna click on that, and there's your book covers and the dust jacket. So the dust jacket is this. So Pete got this set up for himself, so nice little dust jacket set up there. I thought it was a nice add, so I'll go ahead and I'll add that there. Add my dust jacket, I'm gonna click on customize. This is how easy it is, and I gotta give these guys credit because they've done a really good job here. You can either do your own individual designs you can choose to work with spreads of images, or you can work on editing individual pages. Now for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and do individual pages. I'm gonna click on select, and now these are all of the images that I have uploaded to my Mpix account. Obviously the ones that I'm going for are the ones of my daughter. I wanna have a book that I can carry with me that I can share of moments that I've had with my daughter. These things are important to me, so I'm gonna go there there's all of the pictures, and I know that I want them all in the book, so guess what? Select all. Now that I have all of that stuff set up, those are all of the pictures right there, right? And they're being sorted by A through Z, or you can do it by newest or oldest. I'm gonna sort them by oldest. And once I have that set, continue. Generate my book. You'll see that right off the bat, it creates everything for you and you'll see the book right here. Right? This is the front cover of it. And as you click on this arrow, it moves you into the next page. Now, this picture could be a little zoomed out, right? If you want, you can always just click right on the picture and move it around, or you can go ahead and zoom in and out by just kind of scrolling in and out, or transform these handles to kind of get it exactly where you want it. If that's what you want as a layout, that's wonderful right there. You can just click on check. If you wanted to change the overall layout for this though, you could always click on these arrows on the left hand side and this is where you would set up the customization for this. So you'll notice right here, I click on this one image and I say, well, I kind of want a different layout. I can click on the layout here and from here I can move one or a series of four images or five images. There's a variety of different options available for you. I'm gonna stick with this one, and what I'll do is I'll transform this and bring this picture like this. And I'll have that set up there. 
you'll see that some sections have titles there. You can always go into one of these areas here. I'm just going to zoom in so you can take a look. I can click to add the text right in that one area or I can move it down or up. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit the text and inside of here I'm going to type in Sleeping Sabine. Click on Done. Now that's done. I'm going to grab this layout. I'm going to transform the layout and open it up a little bit more and then move this right over. And you can do this for all of the individual layouts there. But you'll be surprised. It actually does a really good job of setting this stuff up for you. All you have to do then at this point is just go around and put together some of this stuff and you're good to go. Once you have all of this taken care of for you, all you need to do is just add that to the cart and you're good to go. I'm going to again do this one last picture, set it right there. That looks great. The entire book, page by page, you can go through it. I'm going to click on Add to Cart. You'll notice that now you have an option for doing a dust jacket. I'm going to just go ahead and do a full image here. And I'm going to add a picture. I'm going to choose my photo. I'm going to choose it from here. And I will go with this one. That's a great memory for me. Now, once I have that set, I'm going to click the checkbox and add that to the cart. Now, make sure that there's no spelling or grammatical mistakes. Make sure that the photos are displayed correctly. So you want to make sure that you add all of that stuff there. Add that to the cart. And now you'll notice that the book is in your basket and you're ready to go from there. So this is a 46 page book of the most precious memories for me and you could do it just like that. Make sure that you take a look at the MPix website for all of the different options and hopefully this will inspire you to go out and make that book. My name is RC. I'll talk to you guys soon.